Bobby, this is a good question for you. Do all women get broody? No, they do not. Uh, they don't. Uh, That's something I would Google. Thank you for doing this with me today. I can't stand to be away from you for a single second. Sure. No problem. Do you know what you're in for? I have no idea. What are we doing today? <laughs> well, I wanted you to come into this fun special challenge with Google mm -hmm. UK. I love that people are Googling loads of questions about feminism. To me, feminism is social, economic, and political equality. Just equality. How do you feel when people outside your minority ask about feminism? How will you explain to your daughter that you have a dirty mouth? Do you feel guilty for how much you work? What is feminism? Are women funny? Loads of people ask me those questions. Then questions come. Prove uh, me wrong. Change my mind. Women aren't funny. And I feel like everyone's responsibility to Google them because it. it's a little bit presumptuous that I've got time in the day mm. to explain to a man what feminism is, but I never have to explain it to you. No, certainly. So people are Googling, what is the glass ceiling? I know the glass ceiling is a space that women can't break through because of restrictions that have been placed on them. Glass ceiling wise, there is no late night chat show in the UK hosted by a woman. There you go. So there's an example. Zero. It's so sweet that people Google this. Can I offer my seat to a woman? Yes. Right? I would offer my seat to a woman. Because she's weaker than you and needs to sit down? I'd rather someone else have my seat than me, whether it's a woman, child, or an elderly man. So women are like children or women are like the elderly? People are like both, really. <laughs> no, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. I was brought up that way. I don't see a problem with it. I think it's very chivalrous. I think it's really polite. There's a point to be made. There are some women who feel that it infantilizes them, these gestures. Yeah, I, and I can see why they would be, and it's just learning as to the right situation, I guess, when to offer it up. <gasps> Bobby, this is a good question for you. Are men funnier than women? Men can be funnier than women. Women can be funnier than men, but certainly men are not funnier than women. So I was on many bills when I was starting out mm -hmm. where they would only have one woman and they would say, oh, we can't have both of you. That lineup is too female heavy for right. me. So I think I'm an example of pedestal feminism because they'll put me in a role. No other women will be in that role on television. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, well, you can't complain. Look, there are loads of women in that role. There's Catherine Ryan. And it's like, okay, who else? And you know, there are so many women who say that women aren't funny. Really? And those are really the ones that get my goat. Because no other community will say that about their own. Yeah. You will never hear no, that is true. a black man say, black men aren't funny. No. Or you'll never hear an Asian person, I don't like Asian comedians. You'll never hear that. No. But women are happy to say, I don't think women are funny. Do you think it's actually concerning that like men or people are Googling this, whether men are funnier than women? No, I'm encouraged that people are Googling are men funnier than women because I know from every day of my life that it's mm. a point of contention and there are loads of people who don't think women are funny. So the fact that they're reaching out, that they're curious, like, this to me shows an openness at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. Being a woman starting out in comedy, it's very difficult to do oh, sure. the road because I am not as safe on a night bus as a no. man is. And I've been followed onto trains at night. When I was starting out, some of the guys would just like rent a really cheap hotel and five of them sleep on the floor. I can't do that. I can't be there. No. Can you imagine if you didn't think women were funny? Well, I mean, we wouldn't be together. And that's this is sure. how I found yeah. out. No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay, next. Okay. What is tokenism? Tokenism is, you know, like you said, with pedestal feminine, like token woman mm. being hired or something like that. Is that possibly it? What, do you, what does it mean to you? We could Google it. What is tokenism? Recruiting a small number of people from un underrepresented groups in order to give the appearance of sexual or racial equality within a workforce. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. Yeah, so they'll say, look, you can't say there are no women here because Catherine Ryan and yeah. is with these 10 white men on the panel show and, oh, well, Catherine Ryan's done it. And it's like, that doesn't feel great either. How do you deal with someone who thinks sexism is funny to be friends like this? I certainly have been around enough guys to hear sexist jokes and they think it's funny. It's, <laughs> I think it's funny I just think, thinking I, about it. The idea of it is funny, <laughs> but it's not cool. <laughs> Yes, it is. Do you want to hear some really funny sexist jokes? Sure. A man hit a woman with his car. Whose fault was it? I mean, the, it's going to be the woman. No, it was the man's. Oh. Why was he driving around in the kitchen? <sighs> it's a great joke. I mean, my official stance is sexist jokes aren't cool, but I can certainly laugh sometimes. If sure. the intent is the way I told it, yeah. 
It's like ironic. We're not actually laughing like that. Oh, what is toxic masculinity? So it's like an overcompensation of something you feel. For me, an example of toxic masculinity, a heartbreaking one in your life, is when your dad passed away when you're only a little boy mm. and people said, you're the man of the house now. Oh, yeah. That is a horrific thing to say to a little boy who just lost his dad. It doesn't make room for you to be vulnerable. And that's not fair to men. No. So when feminists want to do away with toxic masculinity, it's not just for us. Oh, of course, yeah. For it's you. For, yeah. Do all women get broody? No, they do not. Yeah. They don't. Uh, I don't understand why they maybe wouldn't, and some may feel differently than others. And I think that is being an ally. It's just right. going, this is I'm not on, my yeah, bag. I'm on your team, so I support you, but I'm not, <laughs> I would want to have children myself personally. When did you get broody? Probably like 25. 25 year old broody? This 35. is where it gets tough with the men and women because you have the right to be more sensitive because you have a lower window than us. Psychologically, I was dealing with the idea of not to protect myself from the hurt of not. Should you tell your daughter she's beautiful? Yes, most definitely. Not when you're super young, they won't call it, you don't usually use the word beautiful, although we do for our son. Yeah, we have so, way like non-gendered yeah. compliments for him. But the word beautiful to me doesn't really mean like, you know, supermodel. It means like, you're beautiful, I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. What's wrong about it? I think people might feel like it reduces your daughter to thinking that being pretty is the best thing right. she could be. It, it puts that too high in her list right. of, you know, you're a beautiful, quiet princess. You're subservient and, you know, shy. Yes. How do I bring up my son as a feminist? I would just take things that I've learned or researched, kind of try and help guide him in the right direction and regard men and women and everyone equal. I think our son will have to be a feminist because he'll watch his dad taking on a lot of traditional mom roles because you are his lead caretaker right now mm. and I'm out at work. So how can our son not grow up believing in equality? I think if you want your children to be a certain way it is always to lead by example. So what does having an ally as a partner mean to you? It means everything to me. I had faux partners, let's say, mm, yeah. who were not allies before. In our relationship, being able to earn money at work and go out and for you to be looking after our newborn benefits us mutually. Even though you have a very alpha background, like traditionally, I guess. Well, like Sports-wise, but I also grew up with exclusively women. Yeah. Um, but I am still a bit masculine, masculine and like... R rugged, sensual. Oh, yeah. Sensual for sure. Strong. Definitely. Strong, yeah, we're, we're on the right track. But it doesn't emasculate no, you. No, certainly not. To be an ally No, to absolutely me. not. No, it feels good. Well, how have you felt about this amazing Google challenge today? Did Google make you feel less alone? It's nice, you know, I learned things, or at least internally, I think I know them. And then you find out the reasons why, like giving up your seat. You can understand why some women may find that offensive. Mm. I don't certainly want to be malicious or hurt women, but equally I want to do better and, and help be a better ally. Well done, BK. Thank you. You nailed the challenge, as I knew you would. Well, appreciate it. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah, thanks.